Hey everybody, Mr. Ling here. I just wanted to go over this um, <clears throat> uh, assignment, 6.05 data observation. I see that um, a lot have just come in this week and, um, and just starting to grade them. I noticed something about this that uh, is a little tricky. So um, I just wanted to go over it really quick with you. And if you <clears throat> decide you want to update your Google Docs that you've uh, turned in, you may do so. I might uh, be sending a few back to correct, but um, I just noticed that in the in the lessons in this unit, it didn't do a really good job of explaining how you might figure this out. So I just wanted to go over it real quick. So okay, so here's the deal. You've got um, two heads. Or I'm sorry, you've got two coins, and you're flipping them a hundred times, and you're trying to find the likelihood of getting either two heads. Or two tails or one head and one tail and you might think well just off the bat there there's three different possibilities right two heads two tails or one head and one tail but it's not quite exactly uh, a third for each one and I'll, and I'll show you why that is if you flip your coins you probably maybe found that you got two heads about nearly 25% of the time, or about one out of four. Same thing with the two tails. You probably found you got about 25% there, and you hopefully should have found you got maybe more like 50% for one head and one tail. And I'll show you why that is. There's a couple of ways to explain that. So first of all, let's go over here. Oh, I left that. I did a little trial run to make sure that it would record two screens there. But um, so see, you've got your, your one coin here, Okay, so this is, this is uh, coin one and coin two. I'm just gonna put it like that, okay? And on any given flip, here's your possibilities. You could get coin one could be a heads, right? And say coin two could be a heads. That's one possibility. So that's, I'm gonna put possibilities over here, that's one. Second possibility is your first coin lands on heads. Your second coin lands on tails, okay? That's possibility two. Possibility three is if your first coin lands on tails and your second coin lands on heads. Possibility three. And your last um, possibility is your first coin lands on tails, second coin lands on tails. So that's four. So I put down all four possibilities. There are no more possibilities than this. You can probably figure that out. So if you notice, Two of these right here are one heads and one tails. So I've got out of the four different possibilities, right? I've got two possibilities that are one heads and one tails, and you can reduce that down to one half, right? And one half is the same thing as 50%. So I've got about a 50% chance of getting one heads and one tails. Now, I wanted to show this another way you can figure this out, and they don't talk about this in the lessons, but if you've got, these are, this is kind of a, a compound um, probability, and they're going to go over this more in the next module, but if you, if you have a one out of two chance for getting a tails, okay, let's say, and we're looking for the probability of getting two tails, so you've got a one, amp, one out of two chance for getting a tails, and on your set, and this is this is coin one, coin two, you've got a one out of two chance of getting a tails on your second flip. Okay, so to find out the probability of getting this together, you would have to multiply them. And if you multiply them, you find you get one out of four. Now notice that here on tails, right? Um, there is a one out of four chance of getting two tails. Oops, I drew on that. There is a one out of four chance of getting two tails. So that's how that math works out. And that's something they didn't talk about yet, but I think you'll learn more about that in, in module seven. So anyway, that's it. Now it, with that information, you'll be able to answer these questions a little bit better. The theoretical probability that a coin toss results in two heads showing. Well, again, if you look at your table here, if you make this little table and you can do this on your assignment, and say, you know, there's four different outcomes. There's only one outcome of those four where you can get two heads. So it'd be a one out of four chance. Um, I think that's about it. So 
Thanks for watching. And if you want to go back and edit what you did, that is totally fine. If you have any questions, of course, please let me know, email or call or text. Um, all of the above. Okay. Bye-bye.